guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I'm going to show you how the different tiers of the gene system works. Now, it's a really, really powerful thing that Ark added in. Obviously, you can see that we've got a gene storage and we've got a gene gun right here. I'm going to walk you through tier one, two, tier two, tier three, how to use them and how they're so powerful. All right. So anyways, all creatures have a genetic code to them. Now, they will have one unless it is removed. For example, this one has oxygen frail. If you remove it, it will have no genes and uh, each gene has a specific readout. Now, if you want to know what the genes do, when you zoom in and hold H, it'll tell you specifically what that uh, gene will take care of. So there are actually three tiers of genes, tier one, tier two, and tier three. So if I go ahead and hover over them, I go ahead and use the gene tool option here. This is a tier three gene. It is a slow metabolism. You can see that right there. Um, and it is a very useful thing. I'll talk about why in just a second. And then melee robust level two, and then the one. So you've got the green, the blue, and the purple in order to determine what is what. So I have a volunteer over here, a willing volunteer, I should say, um, because the only thing that you can apply genes to are baby creatures. So you can pull them from adults and you can apply them to babies. Now, you can stack as many as you want. So let's say I want to stack two Kingslayers, right? I can stack two Kingslayers. So you can stack five of the same. And uh, that would give us the ability you can see right here increases damage done to the following creatures by 5% bosses and alphas and then reduces damage to all other creatures by 10%. Really? We're going to be attacked over there. Let's just go to neutral. Um, let them shred and let's go back to passive over here because this guy's going to run. I forgot about that. Um, so the Megalosaur is here, right? So we just talked that he's got double on that. Now let's go ahead and add up to five per baby creature. Let's go ahead and add a three. And let's go ahead and add just let's go with a heavy hitting two. OK, so now let's show you the cool thing about this. So basically what it does is you can see heavy hitting level two damage of basic attacks is increased by three point seven percent and the attack of basic attacks is reduced or the speed is reduced by seven point five. And then obviously you can see slow metabolism reduces food consumption by ten percent includes food consumed to power abilities. So. Anyways, what does this mean, right? So each time that you get a bonus, it goes up 50%. So if my damage of basic attacks is increased by 2.5%, 50% higher than that would be 3.75. So tier three would essentially double the boosts and then tier two would essentially add 50% in. So the attack speed is reduced by 7.5%. Now, why would that be such a big thing, right? Because we've got four here. We're going to say mutable. This is why it's such a big thing right here. So let's go ahead and go into it. And I'm going to zoom in, hit H. Mutable stamina. This creature's offspring has a 1.5% chance to mutate, which means it's 50% higher than just the level one. And level three would be a 2% chance to mutate. And then its mutations have an extra ability to apply to stamina. So if you were to stack five level threes into this guy in mutable stamina, there is a 10% chance that the offspring would have mutated stamina, which is crazy. So that is how the tier system works in the game. So essentially level one is norm, whatever normal level is. So just to explain that one more time, level one for king slaying is increases damage done to the following creatures by 5% bosses and alphas. Level two for that would be 7.5%. And then level three would be 10%. So that is why having the genes is so valuable. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you. You can, just so you know, pull them off of babies if you don't like them, if you decide one minute, but you cannot put them onto them as adults. So it has to be done when it's a baby. Um, you can store all of these genes inside of a gene storage. Um, if you hit E, you can just go ahead and, you know, transfer all of my stuff inside of this and then do what you want with it. But level one or tier one, tier two and tier three is now gatherable from any creature that you have tamed. In order to get these tiers, by the way, you have to have tamed the creature. You can't kill it. You can't get it from a wild creature. You have to tame it. And then once you've tamed it, you can hit E or left click on it with this gene gun and pull the trait off of it. Now, one thing that's important to note is that genes cannot be 
switched between creatures, so it has to have the same Megalosaurus if you're going to apply it to a Megalosaurus. There are some awesome things like Vampiric, which means that you steal health, um, and then the uh, melees, and then the mutating stuff. Oh my goodness, there's going to be a lot of really cool things that people don't realize how powerful they are. And uh, yeah, you definitely want to take advantage of that. So anyways, that is how tier one, tier two, and tier three genes work in the game. And hopefully this video helps you out. Other than that, teach how.